Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're unboxing... Whoa! Anachrony. <laughs> I hope that was worth destroying all of your setups. I'm glad your parents aren't home today. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't, if you haven't seen a Quackalope unboxing video before, well, we're just gonna have fun checking out what's inside this game. I backed this a while ago, and it just literally just arrived from Kickstarter. Uh, awesome. And so let's do it. Let's cool. let's cut in. I'm I'm joined today with Sean, who you're familiar with. Hey, Sean. Uh, and Max, who runs a channel called Table Knots. Sean, you run uh, Markham Family Gaming. Links will be down below. You should check out both of them. Uh, everyone stay clear. I have the that is brand, a new new, sharp knife. <laughs> brand new Spider Co knife. Got it for the holidays. Been wanting it for like a year or so. This should make unboxings. I'm going to let you handle that. Oh my gosh. Significantly easier. It just slices through that tape like butter. You should show how great the knife is by just going in through the side of it instead. <laughs> through which side? <laughs> Probably more. This side? <laughs> That Whoa, one? Wow. Well, that was, wanna, that was that was triple okay, okay, corrugated. Okay. From off that side, what? I'm inside your kill circle. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get everything out of this, okay? So that we can actually Ooh. deal with. Uh... Dear God, I saw someone posted. You were saying someone posted the box is bigger than Gloomhaven. Yes. Was that was what they were aiming for? Here. Because they succeeded. <laughs> All right. All right. Holy These, cow. it can't even close. Look, it's got. I'm sure it, it doesn't can. even fit. <laughs> those are just gonna be metal resources, oh, metal how cubes. Those are upgraded little uh, plastic bits and dials. Oh, are like they're like little Rubik's cubes. A promo pack. Interesting. Those are gonna be like the resources. Yeah. Stuff. Now I really do have to be careful here because uh, yeah, I yeah. don't want to cut the actual game, and I have number. 293 out of 1,377. So. Or 74. If you were looking at the camera on top. <laughs> You're scaring what? me. You're I'm, scaring I'm glad I'm on this so side much. of the table. <laughs> <laughs> the direction that you're cutting with the knives. Ooh. One handed. Look at that. Pretty. This. Oh wow! It's I'll, like, let, I'll let you play with I your like knife while I play with, play with the game. Isn't that nice? Yeah, you're gonna play with that. that. Sean's gonna unbox this. <laughs> I'm gonna play with knives. I'm not allowed to be near it's knives. A Spider Co. Para Paramilitary Three. My wife says I can't use them. It's a great. It's a great EDC knife. Wow. All right, Anachrony. Infinity box. You can have that. <laughs> there we are. I I honestly I have a sense of what this game is, but have very little actual context for it. I kind of ordered this because I knew about Mind Clash games. I knew that everyone was saying this is one of those games that just like everyone should play. Apparently, it is aggressively heavy and has one of the very best solo experiences possible. Yeah. Uh, Work so I am... placement. What the this heck is the you got the Triforce this? right here. <laughs> Triforce. I think that's yeah. what that is. Yeah. Nintendo's yeah. coming after you, dude. It's <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Sorry. Here, look at these. Uh, look at these. I like how they're just right. like we're not even gonna fill. I want to get to the game. Here I love go. game here trays. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I want to see miniatures. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let us it's know. my birthday. Let us oh know. Oh my god. Okay, apparently most of this box is miniature, so if you could just let us know what all of these are. <laughs> wow. Tell me if you improve. Miniatures are my like I don't know if I would like board games if it wasn't for miniatures, in all honesty. That is a very detailed little mech. This, nice. I this like is that. like So these are gonna know. be your workers. And Anachrony is going to be a game of time travel, going back mm -hmm. and forth, collecting resources, wow. uh, discovering and harvesting a Rare, uh, apparently a rare metal. Oh, Jesse, this you just threw this down like you would. No, 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 no. Look at that. That's like a. I'm getting a into series of literature. I'm gonna get in there. <laughs> I need to get all of this stuff. This is like out five books. So I can. This is like. It keeps going. It's a clown box. It because keeps there's going. No, no there's still more things underneath it. Dear God. This this would take a whole day. Like go. Sean, you would need to get your kids to help <laughs> to help punch <laughs> all of those out. Make an assembly line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the back. Just shows. Uh, everything. It's like, you're gonna get all of the stuff. Nice. I also think there's an expansion here somewhere. I, I basically uh, backed I backed everything. There's a literature on how to put the love stuff these, back yeah, in the box. box. That is nice of them. <laughs> Look at those guys. Like, like, uh, I love the masks. It looks like the, the masks Face that are There you go, Jesse. I found the, the one that you need. Yes, yes, yes. I love this. Art and storybook. You guys keep going through yeah. all of the components. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna dig into, uh, I'm gonna dig into this. Uh, introduction. 
Welcome to New Earth Leader. The book you are holding in your hand is the second edition of the art and story. That's not flavor text. <laughs> the Day of pur Purgation. This is history. Zero PP. I felt the impact of the shockwave like a ringing of a doomsday bell. If you find this, we are all gone. I love my family. I loved my family. I was here. From the epicenter of the desolate region of South America, an unforeseen cataclysm event tore through the planet. The resulting tectonic fissures, tsunamis, and storms warped the Earth's surface. Oh, by the way, you don't have to worry about stacking things. You can just, <laughs> just sort of do that. Cool. I've been just chucking stuff over. Yeah, they just camera. go behind us, to the side of us. We just need oh to see gosh. all of this stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get you one of each of these. The resulting tectonic fissures, tsunamis, and storms warped the Earth's surface into an un uninhabitable wasteland, wiping out most of the population in a matter of weeks. The explosion's origin would remain unknown for generations to come. A new era begins. So as I understand it, like, we are in the future and we we experience this meteor that hit the world well, and we're trying to go back in time to tell our dis our ancestors what they need to do to prepare to try to avoid. Well, and it's interesting because... I. As time travel is developed, you can actually borrow resources. Yeah, from that's the another cool you mechanic. Can gain things back. So it's like gaining knowledge, let it, giving people information, but then also strategically taking what your ancestors are doing for you and on your behalf pay it back to, later. Prep, yeah, to prep for what you're doing now. Sun's breach. By the way, this is, we are going to <laughs> read uh, the whole thing. Yeah, I'm committed yeah, tonight. Yeah, I'm committed. Cool. Let's do it. Sun's breach. I <laughs> cried when I saw that first sunbeam. My daughter screamed and said it burned her eyes. The dust clouds blocking the sun began to settle around the world. Survivors emerged from their underground shel shelters in search for any habitable areas, especially those with access to fresh water. Foundation of the capitable. Cap capitable. <laughs> capitable. 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 Like, like habitable. Yeah, it's it a fun word to just say. Just say it confidently. You want that one? Take that sure, one. Sure, sure, sure. Let's dig okay. into... Uh... Do you do voices or... No. You can do voices. You do you. There are skeletons of cities with buildings voice? reaching. No, it's not. It's my voice. Well, where's the voice? Yeah, I, I was. You got I, me excited about I the whole concept of voices. I watched other videos and you didn't like Max's voices, and I'm Max. <laughs> I don't so. like Max across the board. <laughs> you can do voices. I'm gonna be super right. excited about it. All right, um, let's let's do this like uh, my favorite like superhero. There are skeletons of cities with buildings reaching high above the earth. You're right. That's I don't a like superhero. Voices. Yeah. <laughs> That I sounds like a rat. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I will conquer the sewers first. <laughs> what humans don't know is their bowel movement is their weakness. This is the voice of God. <laughs> anyway, I cannot imagine the noise of them after hearing the chaos and squalor of the capital. So, I, is this just, this is just a history timeline. Yeah. You le learn all of... It's all the flavor text. It's, the most, the, it's the most important part of the game. The artwork. I think I found beautiful. the main game board. Okay, finally. okay. <laughs> that's, kind of what I was, that's kind of what I was hunting for. So, for those of you that are still entirely confused, basically, <laughs> we're going to have modules and expansions. You're going to have your own player boards. You're going to have these time rifts where you're able huh. to bring resources back. But this is going to be your primary board. These are going to be the workers that you're placing. It's a worker placement okay. and engine building or tableau mm -hmm. style game, mm -hmm. right? Where cool. you're managing resources, placing workers down on the board uh, to take a variety of actions. I believe you can recruit new people, you can gain resources, you can like upgrade technology. I don't know them all specifically. Yeah, there was research, and here's the four parties you can choose from. There. Yeah, oh, so you're going to be. There should be. You're going to be. Gonna say, you're going to be operating. You're going to be operating as uh, distinct uh, cultures or distinct like. Yeah. Uh, you know, these are these are the mechanisms. Here's your other ones. I love these. The these are amazing. So uh, these are my favorite by far. Already. <laughs> this I really I really am digging the art, the production qualities, yeah. top of the line, which we expected. I like the concept of being able to shift the resources through time and instead of the, just uh, what you have. The camera. I'm gonna show the like some of the artwork. Well, and again, oh, I'll be doing B-roll too. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just piles of it. <laughs> Literally, this whole section where I'm talking about how I'm doing B-roll <laughs> is all covered. Be doing it's all covered with covered in B-roll. <laughs> like so I'm many bees. currently, I'm currently talking about just doing B-roll. We've we've spent about 60 seconds on me saying, "Hey, I'm gonna be producing B-roll." So like these are the and leaders. people that you aren't choose. necessarily oh, clicking right. off because they're currently still seeing amazing B-roll <laughs> of me while I'm talking about out, the B-roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm gonna be doing. So if you guys have any questions about the like things on the board, there's this whole like section that outlines each of them. So this is really nice. this is not even, but this isn't like what's going on the board. This is like that's just telling this you is just about the, the artwork. places on the this board. This is just the artwork. Behind it. The yeah. three, what, tell me about the heads. Oh, the heads. I don't know, the head, I don't know number, about the no, heads. Heads are number three. Yes, the council tower. Dominating the skyline above the capital, the gargantuan tower is home to the World Council. 
The tower's four faces symbolize the four paths, four different views of the world, all from a common origin. An emissary from each path presides on the council with its presidency, presidency rotating among them. In addition to the council itself, the tower's luxurious suite houses the capital's, capitalist's, capital's oldest, wealthiest family, most of whom can trace their roots back to the original scoins. Scion, scion. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I read confidently. I'm glad we both went the I same way know. with yeah, it. Yeah. That could have gone bad. but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I should have said something else. <laughs> So this is this just makes me want to basically do a lore only coverage of this game. And As other people how, are playing it, you just read the lore in the look background. Look how deep this is, though. <laughs> the fact that they have the lore built out for the board, just that they the board. Designed, yeah. I mean, that, like I've never read, seen anything like. So this, this is your player tableau that goes in front of you, what? and your mechs go on this, and as you use them, they you'll go able, onto the board for them, worker yeah. placement. Very cool. Yeah, because they're beautiful. Six. There's six of each of these. It's absolutely beautiful. What what type of mech do you want to find out? I bet we can find uh, who they are. This one that looks like Winston from Overwatch. The yellow it's one? the best one. Path, Path of Dominance. Of, it should be yellow. Path, Path of, of Progress. Progress. Of course. Capital, the right, apex of something. humanity. <laughs> Leaders, Librarian Cornelia and Patreon Valerian. And yeah. exosuit model. Oh, so they're not. The I keep calling gargoyle. them mechs, but they're exosuit. Yeah, so this is an exosuit. Yeah. And this is going to be the, the gargoyle. gargoyle. Which of these do you like most? Oh, wow. Is that, is, what the is that apex, one? known as the Venice of the Skies, the capital of the Path of Progress, hovers above the Earth in a sprawling like collection boy. of Byzantine, Baroque, Gothic, and Renaissance styles, emulating the submerged city of long ago. However, this classical architecture is entwined with state-of-the-art technologies showcasing the Path of Progress as second to none in scientific advancement. This is cool. Yeah. Uh, do you have the rule book? Do we want to give a little bit of a overview? The rule book. On, uh... I mean, there's like seven over here, but they're mostly the expansions. Here's the. I think this is the base. The rule, rule book. book. The rule book. So, <laughs> just just so that because I'm going to be filming B-roll, of course. But let me give. Uh... Oh, there's that's Jesse all over it. Well, it's yeah. even italicized for you. I want. <laughs> I want the overview of the game, though. Here we are, just so people have a sense of it. In Anachrony, you are the leader of one of the New Earth's ideological paths. Harmony, dominance, progress, and salvation. There's a, I believe, an extra one with the expansion. Path of Unity is the expansion. Your ultimate goal is to prepare for an upcoming asteroid impact, secure the future of your people, and overcome the other three paths as the dominant ideology in shaping humanity's future. The game is played through, a, through, through up to seven rounds, called eras, each symbolizing several years. And the fourth era, the asteroid impact, occurs changing how the remaining eras play out, triggering a countdown to the game's end. Anachrony is centered around three game concepts, powering up using exosuits, taking actions using workers, and using time travel. In this section, we'll give you a short overview of these concepts. Details of the gameplay will be described in the uh, sub sub subsequent, subsequent exactly chapters, which is a perfect time to hand over exosuits to you and let the people know. Exosuits. And one of the reasons, I, again, I'm excited about this game, but I don't know enough about it to talk about it. But I wanted to give people who are watching us a little bit of context yeah. for what yeah. we're what we're covering. This is the expansion so brings in the fifth. The practice. exosuits, which are my favorite part of this i want to paint these right now uh, it says at the beginning of each era each player may choose to power up up to six exosuits the potential uh that they potentially cost energy cores okay the number of exosuits determines how many actions you can take on the main board which is yeah, right they're your workers us. um and lost my thing Main board, they protect your workers as they venture out to the safety of your path's capital. Oh, and so it looks like are... you're assigning workers to them, potentially, as well. Because uh, well, I see... Yeah, they have, they've they got... They've got little modules that look like workers can slot yeah. into them. I think the workers are just, like, humanoid-looking people outside of these exosuits, and these are, like, your mm. battle characters. Taking actions time. with workers. The action round of the phase is the heart of each era. When players alternate taking actions using their workers, a worker may be used individually on your player board mm. or in an oh. exosuit on so the main board. Them in, that mm. little Usually chit workers goes in. workers used to take actions during the action round phase become tired at, at the end of that era. So you kind of do this. And then finally, oh there they are. I was looking for them. That is so cool. Finally we have time travel. Time travel. Thanks to the time rifts, humanity can now use time travel to boost its progress. At the beginning of each era, in the warps phase, they may request resources and manpower from their future. This is symbolized by the warp tiles placed on the timeline. Later, however, these assets have to be sent back to the past to close the loop. This is done with power plant buildings that power up your time rift and open its focus to a past era. 
The later the assets are returned to the past, the more likely they are to cause temporal paradoxes and ultimately anomalies. Sweet. Oh, that's Man, cool. So that's a cool concept. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> You're messing with so time. Cool. Yeah. I wonder if they have like anomaly cards somewhere that we could read. Do you want to read about the Path of Unity, the expansion group, or no? Uh, sure. Let's let's wrap this off. I was looking There's for the... some flavor text to wrap this off with because it's so full. I mean, I really think I need to do a Laurel movie video. <laughs> this this. This should start a new series. Any yeah. game that sends well, me like this... Like, Tidal Blades did it, this well, did it. I was like, just, I'm well, I was it. just thinking, I might get Tidal, Bl Tidal Blades back just to do a lore-only yeah. experience with it. Sure. Because this is just They so... created the world and all the background. It's awesome. And I need to give them... I need to give people praise for that. Sure. Ever since the day of reminiscence, when the paths of time... When the paths time rift powered up for the first time, people across New Earth began seeing visions of a yet undiscovered... Sixth Time Rift. These visions invoked an increasing sense of empathy and fellowship between those that experienced them, bonding them forever to a greater degree than their affiliation to any path. In the years that followed, a mass exodus from the paths took place by those who shared these visions, leading to the discovery that this Sixth Time Rift, rift exists. The rift held the foundations of a new civilization, one that may lead the people of New Earth down a new path, the Path of Unity. Explorers from the Path of Unity discovered a secluded mountain valley where the indigenous flora not only survived the impact, but mutated and evolved due to the, due to the asteroid's toxic neurotrianism dust. <laughs> the resulting flower-like crystal formation synthesized a substance called flux. I think it's neutronium. That's the... Which is collected and studied by Amethia's Valley mysterious inhabitants, known as the Operators. The operators are willing to share the secrets of their fracture technology with the paths, but remain silent about its side effects, which only they are immune to. Ooh. What color so are they? So cool. They're, they're purple. purple. They're yeah. purple. That one looks... I was about to say, I might like this one the best. Like, <laughs> check that one out. Look at... These are the be, timelines, I'm, how you set up the timeline and how you share the resources back and forward in I'm, time. I'm so... I was apathetic on this game because I backed it as a you have to play type yeah, of solo experience. Just, mm. just the hype. The amount, the production quality, the lore, the style, this makes me want to play this game Here's so the, much. the solo rule book. So much. Hey, but before we head out, Max, come say hey, hi. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Max I, is over there. Yeah, but I'm here. right here. Yeah. What's up? Oh, you're Max. I'm Josh. Nice well, to see you. First off, you got to get down so we I'm can down. see. Uh, you wanna, so you want to sit in my lap? So so Max Max <laughs> that might is, not be good for the chair. Max <laughs> is normally here, but we are uh, we are petitioning to have him replaced yeah. by uh, Doolin, which is uh, part of his chair. Better Max. So, hey. better, better Max. Better Max. I found so, that there was uh, miniatures in this game, and I forced Jesse at gunpoint to let me in the video. So those of you those of you that watch to this stage of the video, thank you for hanging out with us. Love having you here. I know Russ. this is a little bit of a, a wild unboxing video like Here's normal picture of max if you could just leave a comment down below that says better max i'll understand <laughs> what you and mean. we'll understand if you want to see more better max <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do though yeah. remember to do the important thing get out and play more games and i'll see you next time danielle will comment thank you <laughs>